have good navigation skills or like trying to find your way through a maze? Well, our corn maze is the perfect place for you to be able to test those. For our corn maze, it all starts when the corn is planted in late May. These plants, maize plants, all start out with one kernel. Planted about an inch and a half. And uh, the first thing that comes up is you'll see little leaves coming up, tiny little leaves. When the corn is about this tall, we'll go through with a lawnmower and a GPS mount on it to cut out the maize design. And then as the corn continues to grow, we need to go through and recut the maze design a couple different times in order to make sure that there's nice clear pathways for our guests to be able to walk on. And uh, as the corn plant grows, about day 45 or so, you'll start seeing the ear. At the very bottom, you have what we call runners. The runners give more stability. The leaves are doing the photosynthesis thing and making energy and sugar for the plant so that it can produce that ear. Everything is about, it's reproducing and those kernels are technically supposed to be used for the next year to make you more kernels. Right here, it's a grass, according to grass. They're both plants are in the maize family, which are the grass. Uh, they're classified as grain, both of them are grain. They both have tassels and the tassels have pollen on them. And this is the silk. Each one of these silk, which is the exact same as the field corn, represents one kernel in the ear. The pollen fertilizes the silk, which in turn makes each kernel. So without, without the tassel, without the, without the, the silk, corn silk, there is no, there is no, there is no kernels. The biggest difference between sweet corn and in field corn is, sweet corn is always shorter. About 95% of field corn is used for feed for animals. Our sweet corn is used for 90, 99% .9, um, human consumption locally. The field corn, besides feed, they use it for making oil, they use it for making gas. It's been used for ink. Um, there's many, many different sweeteners. A lot of your sweeteners are made out of corn. Uh, a kernel from this ear right here could be in Russia this, this, this winter. Our corn has gotten pretty tall this year, which means that it's gonna be a little more difficult for you to navigate your way through. But I think that you can still do it. You know that we still combine the corn and use it for animal feed just like it would be used if it wasn't in a corn maze. Now go try and not get lost in the corn maze. All right, I have sweet corn and I have field corn and popcorn. Let's see what they like the best. Field corn, sweet corn, popcorn.